Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this absolutely beautiful lace stitch. And look at that sparkle. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm making a little blanket that will go over one of those little carry tots. And look at that. Absolutely amazing. I love this. Absolutely love it. Now, the yarn I'm using is this Kinko Baby Glitz. Beautiful, beautiful yarn. And this is a really simple two-row repeat. It's a two-row repeat and it's beautiful. I've also made a bonnet to go with this. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful stitch. Beautiful yarn to work with. I love this. And this is going to be for my new grandbaby. <laughs> And I've made that little blanket because um, it's coming out of the hospital. When it's born, it'll be February. When it's born, it'll be getting carried out in one of those little rocker trots. So I've not made it up a too big a blanket. I've made this big enough. I've still got some of work to do on this one. And it's going to fit in the Moses basket as well. It's going to. Amy's got a beautiful Moses basket and that's going to fit in it as well. And then I've made this beautiful little hat. I'll do the hat in another video. I'm going to pop that over there. So I'm going to get on and I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful stitch. I'm going to pop that aside. So the stitch count for this is six. Do your chain, do your foundation chain in any number of sets of six that you want it to be. So I'm going to start my chain Use the hook size it tells you on the yarn that you've chosen to use. You can do this with any yarn. Two, three, four, five and six. One, two, three, four, five and six. So I've done a few sets of six. I'm going to do one extra stitch. Add one extra stitch. Now into the second stitch in your chain, you're going to do a UK double crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet for you. So put one into that second stitch. You're going to chain one and put another one into the same stitch. You're going to skip two stitches and do a fan. And there are seven UK treble stitches in the fan so that's seven USA double crochets if you're in the USA so skip two and into the next stitch build a fan so we're going to put seven stitches into this one that's one two three four, five, six and seven. Now when you put so many into the stitch, what it does, it takes, it can hide this next stitch. So if you see that all spread out, it's kind of it's made it look as if this stitch here is part of that and it's not. So that is your next stitch there. So we're going to skip two stitches. So skip one and two and do that little double cluster here. So one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet. So we're calling that a double crochet cluster. And if you're in the USA, that's a single crochet, one chain and a single crochet. Skip two stitches and do a fan in the next one. You're going to do that all the way along. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you need an odd number. Make sure you put seven in your fan. Make sure you've got seven. So again, that stitch has been squashed a little bit. 
So skip to one, two, and do that double cluster. One double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet into the same stitch. Skip two and do a fan. You'll skip two and do the double cluster. Skip two, fan, skip two, double cro cluster, all the way to the end, and you should skip two and do a double cluster into the end stitch. So I've got three stitches left. I've got one that's squashed in there. One, two, and three. I'm going to skip two and put my last double cluster into this last stitch. That's one double crochet. That's a single crochet if you're in the USA. One double crochet, one chain, and one double crochet. And that gives you your foundation row. So that's your foundation row done. Now the next two rows are the two rows you're going to keep repeating. Not this one. The next two rows are the two rows that you'll repeat for the pattern. You're going to turn your work around. And into the chain, you've done a double crochet, a chain and a double crochet. You're going to slip stitch into the middle of that cluster where the chain is. And just pull through. And do a double crochet. Do one chain and in there again do your double crochet. Now these are the two rows you're going to repeat. This row and the next row. So it's going to be like a chain row and then you'll do your fan row. So we've done a double crochet, one chain and a double crochet into that double crochet cluster. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now in the fan, you're going to skip three stitches. In the fan, one, two, three. And into the top of the fan, you're going to do a double crochet. Double crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Go down into your cluster that's down here, the double crochet, one chain and the double crochet. You're going to do that cluster again. So in there, and do a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And if you're in the USA, that's single crochets for you. Chain three, one, two, three. This is a quick row because it's just chain and a cluster. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and it should take you to the top of your fan. Do a double crochet, chain three, one, two, and three down to where your double cluster is here down here your little cluster you're going to do another one double crochet chain one and double crochet chain three one two three skip three one two three and double crochet into the top of your fan chain three one two, three, down in between your fans into this double cluster and do another one. Double crochet, chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. You're going to do that all the way along. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, into the top of your fan. Chain three, do that double cluster down here in between your fans. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three, one, two, three, and into the top of your fan. A double crochet, that's a single crochet if you're in the USA. One, two, three, go down into this cluster down here into the chain one space and do your double crochet chain one and double crochet chain three one two three skip three one two three and into the top of the fan and you've got three stitches going down here that's why we've put seven in this fan that's why we've got an odd number so we're skipping three working that one and there's another three down Chain three, one, two, 
three and into this double cluster down here you're going to do another one one chain one and one more now these are the rows you'll keep repeating this chain row and this next row so don't do any chains or anything and to the chain space of that double cluster do a slip stitch slip stitch chain three one two three and back into there you're going to do a treble crochet if you're in the usa this is a double crochet if you're in the uk it's a treble crochet it's the same stitch it's just called different so you're making a v stitch in that double cluster down there into this double crochet at the top of the fan you're going to build another fan put seven treble crochets in there that's seven double crochets if you're in the USA one two three four five and seven make sure you put seven in that's your fan done now down into the chain space of your double cluster you're going to put a v stitch two treble crochets one and two it makes a v stitch put your fan into the double crochet here on top of that fan now when we've done the blanket we'll do a border around it I'll show you that at the end so do a fan that's seven treble crochets one two three four five six seven now into this double cluster you're going to put your v-stitch two treble crochets one and two and it makes that v-stitch put a fan a v-stitch a fan a v-stitch a fan a v-stitch fan and a v-stitch at the end all the way along so you're going to have your fans on top of the fan and that V stitch down there in that double crochet cluster that's down there I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what to do next so I'm at the end and I've got my last V stitch to go into this cluster that's one and two treble crochets I'm not going to chain any you're going to turn now this row and this chain row are the two rows you'll keep repeating the one with the fan and the V stitch and the one with the double cluster and the three chains these are the two rows you'll keep repeating and this is what you get this really pretty pattern with this chain in between now you don't use a lot of extra yarn even though you're putting seven stitches in here because the row below is just a three chain and a double crochet three chain you've got a little cluster you're only using chains to get over here so you're saving on the yarn when you do that round and then you're not I didn't use any much more with my white one so what you're going to do is turn around and go in between the V stitch and do that double cluster no chains just go into the v-stitch and do one double crochet one chain and one double crochet chain three one two three we're doing this chain row again so skip three skip that one there but in the in the fan you're going to skip three stitches one two three double crochet into the top of your fan chain three one two three down into the v-stitch do your double cluster 
double crochet, one chain and double crochet. And that's a single crochet, one chain and a single crochet if you're in the USA. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the top of the fan, so skip one, two, three stitches in the fan and into the fourth one, do your double crochet, chain one, two, three. Do your cluster down here, do that all the way to the end. And do your double crochet cluster in that V stitch. Turn around. Now slip in between those two double crochets, slip stitch, chain three, one, two, three, put another treble crochet in there. We're doing the V stitch and fan row now again. So that's my V stitch. Now over to here I'm going to put the fan into this double crochet and that's the two rows you'll keep repeating the double crochet cluster and the three chain and then your V stitch and the fan. Seven stitches into the fan. One, two, three, four, five, and seven into the middle of the double crochet into the chain one do your V stitch one and two these are the two rows you'll keep repeating the fan row and this chain row here this little chain row keep repeating those two rewind the video if you have to and you will have something like this absolutely beautiful now when i open it you can see there's the chain row with a double crochet and the fan and the v-stitch the fan and the v-stitch your row here is your chain of three your double crochet chain one double crochet your chain your double crocheting into the top of the fan beautiful now when you've got yours to the size that you want it it will straighten out here what you'll do is you can work right around the blanket i'm going to leave the top of mine like this but once i've shown you this i'm going to take it out because i want this bigger what you'll do is you're just going to do I've got my last V stitch there. I'm going to slip into there and do a chain of three. One, two, three. Now into the V stitch I'm going to put one more treble crochet. And if you're in the USA these are double crochets. Into this next stitch just put one in that chain row. Put one in there. Put two in the V-stitch. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets. If you're in the UK, it's treble crochets. One into this space here. I'll put two into the V-stitch, one into that little double crochet there. I'll work my way down to the bottom. And this is what my border's going to be. I need just one in there. Put two in here. Just evenly place your stitches. One into that one. Two into the V stitch. One and two. One into that little double cluster there. All the way down. Just make sure it's nice and even. And do a row of treble crochet all the way down. You can run along the bottom. You can just evenly put treble crochets. When you get to the bottom, I will put two in the corner, 
chain two and put another two treble crochets in the corner and evenly, evenly place treble crochets along the bottom. When you get to this corner, two treble crochets, two chain and two treble crochets into the corner. Then work your way back up, one into the double crochet, two into the V stitch, then one, then two into the bigger stitch, all the way up. Then you can chain three and come back and put another round in. And that's how you can do your border. Now I just just make it nice and even that suits you and your tension along the side, along the bottom and up this side. I'm going to leave mine like that. Now I'm going to take this back out because I haven't finished this little blanket. I'm going to make it bigger. But that's what I would put around this little blanket. Just a basic treble crochet row along the edge. Just make it nice and neat. Just work it along the edge, your treble crochet, nice and neat. I would put one here, one here, maybe two in there, one there, one there. Just work your way along nice and even, nice and even. And it will make this absolutely beautiful, beautiful pattern. So in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to do the little bonnet that matches it. This little bonnet is the same. It's a very similar pattern. Very similar. You've got your three chains with your double crochets. You've got your V-stitch. I did this one just slightly smaller, obviously, because it's a bonnet. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So the next one will be for the bonnet to go with it. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. It's going very dark outside. Please click on the bell icon and YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.